Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today what I have for you guys is a brand new Red Dead Online video and in today's video we are going to be checking out the latest limited time rare reward that you can unlock in game this week just for playing one singular blood money contract parts one, two, and three and so today we're going to be going through the dockside contract which is a pretty fun contract in my opinion to play in this game. You'll also be taking advantage of that double money and XP which is going to be even better because that's one of the main bonuses this month anyway and so if you're playing that well you're already going to be unlocking something cool for an activity you're already playing in this game and at the end of this video since it is a clothing reward that is a limited stock rare item we will also be making an outfit surrounding it i'll be showcasing to you guys how to put it together so if you guys want to switch up your kind of dress style in this game well you'll be good to go with some new threads so with that being said let's jump in thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new or if you just find the video helpful drop a like if you guys enjoy and let's get into things Starting off with part one, we actually are going to be checking out the dockside contract in this video. And part number one isn't all that impressive at all. We actually just need to find this guy and pick up the Capitale bag basically right off of his body. The first part is probably the most boring part of the entire contract, but parts two and three I think are really awesome. I really particularly enjoy part two in specifically, even though part three with the finale is nice. I think part two of this mission is very fun. So we just need to come to the docks, find this guy, grab the bag off of him and we're gonna be good to go we're actually gonna find him at the end of this so i'm just gonna run down here you could basically just capture him right away turn the bag in again i'm not going to be focusing on earning like the optimal amount of gold or money on these missions or anything like that i'm just looking to get this bag complete this mission as fast as possible i should just hog tie him but you can also knock him out too if you want which we're gonna do right now please don't punch him into the water though that would be really unfortunate um okay these guys are gonna come after me so let's just take this guy out oh no he's running never mind we're good let's also loot him because if we loot this guy we get some capitale and since it's double this month we're gonna get three so that's pretty nice and with that being said let's just toss this bag into the yellow corona after we lose the law and we will move on to part two so the law has been lost and now we got it all we need to do really is just drop this bag off honestly you can just come right to this location without the law really following you or anything like that i actually ran around the outside of Sandini, west past the stables, and then I just doubled back once I was close to losing the law. So that way I don't need to waste any extra time, stuff like that. If I was live streaming and I was looking to earn, you know, 32 gold nuggets from this, then I would try and drag the timer out to that 12 minute mark at the very least so I can hit that. But just for the sake of this video, that's all we need to do right there. Now, for part two, we need to head to the Sandini East docks. And I think this is my most favorite part of the entire contract just because of the massive gunfight you get into. So definitely check this out because I find it to be a lot of fun. Very engaging and very chaotic. Really, all you need to do is use some fire bottles to ignite all these supplies. And in the middle of this, you get into like a massive gunfight because all the different, you know, harbor guards and stuff like that start shooting at you. So it just turns into... This massive war that breaks out over at the Sandini docks. I'm going to use one more fire bottle, take this out just to advance the mission kind of fast. And then we'll just start blasting our way on everyone. I'm using the bolt action today because I feel like it looks kind of good when you rock this outfit. But of course, you know, for this situation, you may want something like a repeater and of course shotguns, things like that. So just a couple more enemies we got to take out. And then you get that cool cutscene as well about the harbor master, the harbor captain or whatever who comes out and he's like... So surprised. I guess he was like using the bathroom when we started blowing everything up here because he acts very, very surprised that this whole harbor has like blown up and is on fire right now. Hey, what the hell's going on here? I don't know. You tell me, my guy. Why are you acting surprised? <laughs> so, for this, just probably want to equip a bolus right away. And that way you could secure him. A couple enemies are going to chase you, but all we need to do is bring this guy to the drop-off as well, which is just on the northeast side of town. Also, before I forget, I should probably drop this guy because I should mention here... If you loot him, I think you get Capitale from this guy, too. So let's see how much we get. You get four Capitale, which is pretty nice. Normally, it would be two. But since we have double Capitale looted, well, we're pretty much good to go there. Once you lose the law, you just bring him to basically, like, this backyard back here. So we will remove him from the horse, finish this mission, and then we can move on to part three, which is also pretty chaotic because you need to defend some guy and make sure he doesn't get shot and killed because that will happen if you take too long. But uh, I just find part two to be a little bit more fun with that fight on the docks that we just had. 
So mission passed, Dockside Contract Part 2 complete, Harbor Master was delivered, on to Part 3. Now for Part 3, we head need to head to the Antonor, which is a boat also at the docks, and here is where we are trying to rescue one of Martelli's men who is held captive. Massive gunfight breaks out. This is also a very fun part, I hope you guys enjoy it. I think for the sake of this mission too, we're gonna rock the Litchfield Repeater, so we can have something... You know, we don't need to worry about accuracy because we're in close quarters, but at least we'll have something that has a lot of stopping power. We'll also rip a potent health cure off the bat. And this is when, once you start shooting people, if you head in stealth, you can ignore what I'm saying here. But if you go in guns blazing like I am, like I normally do, I don't worry about stealth. You're basically, you're not necessarily on a timer, but you want to get to this guy decently fast. Because if you kind of take too long and like waste time in this section, what's going to happen is this guy is going to get killed. So you want to get this guy off the boat as soon as possible. At least kill all the guards on the boat so that... He d he's not at risk of dying, you know, you're just good to go, he's in your possession, and then you need to fight your way off the boat, but if the sooner you find this guy, the better it will be. No risk of dying, things like that. So, we have just found him, there is Capitale on the boat somewhere, I just forget what it is, or forget where it is necessarily, but we are going to take our saboteur off the boat, and get back to the safe house. But first, we gotta start blasting some more fools. This guy's hanging back. He's got to catch up. He's a little bit too slow. You can decide. Normally, if I'm just playing this, um, you know, once again to earn golden money and stuff, I enjoy the gunfights. But again, I'm just trying to get out of here with our target. The sooner we get out of here, the sooner we finish the mission. And the sooner you guys can see that rare item unlock. Once you lose the law, once again, we can drop our target off. Or the target, I should say, we're trying to protect at the safe house. And now, part three of three with the dockside contract is done. And now is when your 72-hour timer starts where you can get that beige gator hat. Which we're creating the outfit in this video. You can actually see I've been wearing it this whole entire time. It is a really sick outfit. But now let's jump in into how you can make it yourself. So you can just copy everything and use it in game on your own character. Now once you complete your blood money contract of choice. You just want to head over to your wardrobe. Where you can actually find this limited time and limited stock rare item get deposited. Of course just like with all these other free rewards. Whether it's a benefit section coupon. Or if it's a clothing item that goes to your wardrobe. Give it up to 72 real life hours to see if the changes take effect on your account and you get the item in any of those like selections in those menus because if not you may want to contact rockstar support they're pretty good about crediting you if you don't get the item they'll either force it into your account or if they can't for some reason then they'll just give you some extra gold and money uh, for you know for the trouble you had with the inconvenience so with that said let's jump in of course that rare item is the beige gator hat which we're going to be checking out right here so that's kind of what this outfit is going to be themed around right here so let's jump in find the gator hat here in our list of all the hats. I think it's pretty far down. I gotta scroll. I just want to make sure I don't go past it. So we have the beige gator hat right here. There's a bunch of different ones, but this is the one with sort of like that green on it as well. It's mostly beige, and this is what the outfit's gonna be based off of. And so figured, jump in. We will go to the coat section, and you can find also, it is the hunter jacket. You can actually find it in the catalog. You can also buy it as part of a different like pre-made outfit in the catalog as well, but it is this hunter jacket right here. Slightly warm pair with other warm items for protection for the cold it's got like those alligator scales on it as well matches with the gator hat extremely well then moving on we will also head to our vests now there's a few different options here i think normally i rock the morales vest on my outfits because i love it but i think with this type of outfit we're going for just the standard black valdez vest which is very similar to like the john marston vest this is the one you're going to want to rock right here and then if you're looking for a shirt honestly anything will do you can go with a faucho shirt you can go with a black everyday shirt doesn't really matter on the shirt i just feel like black shirt black vest then you want to move on i don't really have any gloves on this outfit but maybe i'll use like some rings or something like that i think i may actually apply those on we'll see but if you want to add some rings go for it then when it comes to our weapon equipment i am not using an offhand holster on this one because i just like the way it looks but if you're gonna rock an offhand holster say we go we'll go with the embossed uh gunslinger holster i just want to see what it looks like you could see how the jacket kind of moves to the side. I don't like that look. I like the versatility of having two sidearms, but just for the sake of this outfit in this YouTube video, no offhand holster. The gun belt is the embossed gunslinger gun belt. And then we will also move on. If you want to add a gun belt trinket to it, you can. I don't have anything. Bandoliers, this is where you have a few different choices. I decided to rock the Espinal double bandolier to match the jacket. 
Honestly, I feel like there's a better option, but it's not a double bandolier and I can't get the other one because there was like a limited stock rare bandolier that hasn't been back in the clothing store for a while, so I'm unable to obtain it myself. But it's more like the Higgins bandolier and then you go, I guess with this color, but it's more, you know, you could see those little like pockets. They're more blue, they're not necessarily black. If that was a double bandolier, and the other bandolier that's strapped over my right shoulder to the left side of my chest and waist. If it was like this one, then that would be like the perfect bandolier in my opinion. So either one, if, you, if you're if you more of a fan of single bandoliers, go with the Higgins. If you're more of a fan of double, go with the Espinal double bandolier. I don't think the Salizo double bandolier honestly looks that nice with it. The cream color is like a little bit too white. I feel like this fits a little bit better here, especially if you go with this option. And then of course, you're probably wondering about the pants and stuff like that. The pants, I actually just went with the standard Bandito pants, something beige, something cream color to match the jacket, because the real star of the show here when it comes to the pants is the Alvarado chaps. You could see they're basically like full chaps, full leg chaps, and you could see how there's like an alternate color. And with this one, we have a pair of black chaps and then you have green. So it's gonna match the green stitching on the beige gator hat as well. So that's where you get like a little bit extra green kind of like to bring the outfit together. And then the boots I just went with, I think they're the Citadel boots, or not the Citadel the boots, the Calhoun boots, because they're more black gator scaly. Steel toe, so it kind of fits. And then of course we also have one more thing for the spurs. We end up with just the black Gurdon copper spurs as well. But with all that being said, that's everything we have for this outfit that you can create this week in Red Dead Online for a limited time with the beige gator hat that you can complete or and unlock by completing a blood money contract of your choice. With that said, we're gonna be wrapping up the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this outfit. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you guys did. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Make sure to check me out over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. Over on Twitch particularly, I live stream Red Dead Online as well as GT. GTA 5 online several times a week here on that channel. And of course, on Twitter and Instagram, you can keep up to date with some fun Rockstar Games content, Red Dead Online, and GTA 5 posts, memes, videos, clips, highlights, stuff like that. So again, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you all have a fantastic day. Now we'll see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.